Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I am here to give you a bookshelf tour. Most booktubers do this at the very beginning of the year, but I decided I wanted to do it now. So yeah, let's get into it. My first bookshelf here is all of my hardbacks, including some paperbacks where I had extra room, but I keep all of my hardbacks on this shelf, and then I organize mostly by color. So, in the first shelf we have... We Are All Made of Molecules by Susan Nielsen, The Killing Lessons by Saul Black, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, The Lake House by Kate Morton, it looks like I'm picking her nose, oops, The Catholic Church by, I don't know what this says because it's covered up by a sticker, I think it says Barry Ruth Stratus, I don't know, Stra Stratus, I don't know how you say her name, The Devil Wears Prada by Lauren Weisberger, I don't know. Minders by Michelle Jaff. The box set of the Sea Breeze Collection by Abby Giles, Giles, Giles. Nicholas Sparks, See Me. And The Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson. Next I have As I Wake by Elizabeth Scott. Sirens by Janet Fox. In a the Madness Underneath and Name the Star by Maureen Johnson. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Sixteenth Summer by Michelle Dalton. Going Home by Harriet Evans. Then I have an arc by Kate Spears called The Boy Who Killed Grant Parker. November 9th by Colin Hoover. Angel Falls by Kristen Hanna. Raging Sea and Undertow by Michael Buckley. Augie and Me, I don't know if that's how you say the name. The Wonder Story is by R.J. I don't know how you say that last name. We Will Never Be Apart by Amiko Jean. Bad Girls Don't Die by Katie Allender. Christmas Carol, Disney version. The Mouse and the Motorcycle, Beverly Clearly. Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. Talon by Julie Kagawa. <laughs> Hide and Seek by Ida Voss Bos. And Emily Post by Laura Caldridge. Now we are on to my second shelf. So to begin, we have Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oakes. Immortal City by Scott Spear. Destined for Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Lang. In. Blind by Rachel DeWuskin. Life in Black and White by Natasha Friend. The Secret Year by Jennifer R. Hubbard. Virals by Katie Reach. I don't know. Fear by Michael Grant. The Mark of Evil by Tim LaHaye and Craig Partial. Schizo by Nick Sheaf. The Testing by Joelle Cherubune Bone. Ask the Cards a Question by Marissa Moeller. The Twist Rose Key by Tone Alam Jalblub. <laughs> this is where it ends. I don't have a dust jacket for this by some unpronounceable name. Find Her by Lisa Gardner. P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Ahern. White Lines by Jennifer Banch. Bananch. Bananch. The Innocence by Lily Peloquin. The Dorbel Rang by Rex Stout. Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick. Amelia Ann is Dead and Gone by Kate Rosenfield. Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Then I have both Library of Souls and Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. I also have Ever After and Ever Crossed by Elizabeth Chandler. And the last book on this shelf is Saturday City by Jan Webster. On to my third shelf, we have Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Marie Stempler. Elixir by Hilary Duff. Winter by Marissa Meyer. This Far From Paradise by Philip Shelby. Graduation Day by Joelle Charab... 
What Light by Jay Asher. Pretty Baby by Mary Kabinka. The Way We Bared Our Souls by Willa Strayhorn. Earthbound by April and Pike. The Crown by Kira Cass. Light by Michael Grant. Tempest by Julie Cross. The Secret Hour and Blue Noon by Scott Westerfield. Then The Rest of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. My True Love Gave to Me by a Billion Different Authors. Ralph S. Mouse by Beverly Clear. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. Wool, uh, Wolves, Boys, and Other Things That Might Kill Me by Kristen Chandler. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. The Rosie Effect by Garmi Simpson. I don't know. Gone by Michael Grant. Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton. Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And last book on the shelf is Mocking Jay by Suzanne Collins. Okay, so now we're on to the last shelf on this bookshelf. So we have Chaos by Lainey Bross. Where We Belong by Emily Griffin. The Ruining by Anne Collimore. The Catholic Children's Bible. Insurgent by Veronica Rock. Independent Study by Joelle something. Tarnish by Katherine Longshore. First There Was Forever by Julianne Romano. Seventeen and Gone by Nova Ren Suma. Allegiant by Veronica Roth. Razin by Katherine Longshore. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adahir. Ad I don't know. Time Storm by Julie Cross. Now That You're Here by Amy K. Nichols. Then we have another Bible, but this one's kind of beat up. Living Courageously by Joyce Meyer. Miss Mayhem. Miss Mayhem by Rachel Hawkins. Thea and Oliver. Christina Moracho. Oh, wow, I can't pronounce anything. Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. First Love by James Patterson. The Last Summer of You and Me by Anne Brashares. Black City by Elizabeth Richards. Five Summers by Una Lum March. So Much Closer by Suzanne Colsenti. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. And lastly, Sophia Kinsella's Remember Me. Okay, now we're on to my second bookshelf, which I only use two these two middle ones for books. The top one is books that I'm giving away so I'm not gonna go over those ones. This shelf is movies and CDs and my bookmarks. The middles are my actual books and then the bottom is just extra paperwork and stuff. So we're gonna go on to these two middle shelves. First I have Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. First Date by Krista McGee. How We Fall by Kate Browning. A Charming Life by Jenny B. Jones. Jenny B. Jones. <laughs> Jenny B. Jones. Hush Hush by Becca Fitzpatrick. Yesterday by C.K. Kelly Martin. Enticed by Carrie Jones. Harbinger by Sarah Wilson Annette. The Last Days by Scott Westerfield. Chain Letter by Christopher Pike. OCD Love Story by Corey Ann Haydu. The Lucky One by Nicholas Sparks. Zoe Dean's Talent. Nina Nina Ballerina by Jane O'Connor. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stang Larson. The Dying Breath by Elaine Ferguson. The House by Christina Lauren. Resisting Happiness by Matthew Kelly. Timekeeper by Alexandra Mon Monier. Poor Little Dead Girls by Lizzie Friend. Both of Me by Jonathan Friedson. Her Final Breath by Robert Dunguni. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. For Keeps by Natasha Friend. 
Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. Crush Control by Jennifer Jabali. Jab Dark Mirror by Barry Maintland. The Diviners by Libba Bray. The Betrayal of Natalie Hargrove by Lauren Kate. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. The Opal Crown by Jenny Lundsquist. Then I have all three of these. Please don't be true. It's not like I planned it this way. I like him and he likes her. By Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. Next I have this One Time with Julia by David Lampson. Landry Park by Bethany Hagen. Vortex by Julie Cross. A Man Called Oove by Frederick Bachman. Getting the Girl by Marcus Zusak. Midnight Midnighters by Scott Westerfield. Twas the Week Before Christmas by Olivia Miles. And last one on the shelf is Fatal Fallout by Laura Lacombe. On to the second one, we have Memoirs, Memoirs of a Grisha by Arthur Golden. The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. Winter Girls by Lori Halls Anderson. The Duchess by Amanda Foreman. Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. The Selection Stories, The Prince and the Guard by Kira Cat. Social Suicide by Gemma Holliday. Every Last One by Anna Quindellen. I'm Okay, You're a Pain in the Ass, A Love Story by Dr. J.M. Chamberlain. The Distance Between Us by Casey West. A second copy of Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This Is Where I Leave You by Jonathan Tropin. Oh, Troper. Knowing God Intimately by Joyce Meyer. This I Believe, which is a collection of essays. The Bare Naked Truth. Dating, Waiting, and God's Purity Plan by Becca Hamrick Martin. I am Nujud, age 10 and divorced. New, by Nujud Ali with Dolphin Mini. Oh, I can't pronounce names. Then I have Devil's Garden and Devil's Night by Lance Tuck. Don't Let's Go to the Dogs Tonight by Alexander Foley. The Girl Who Played with Fire by Stain Larson. Flipped by Wendelin Van Duren. A Girl with a Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevlayer. Dark Secrets by Elizabeth Chandler. Looking for Alaska by John Green. Charlotte's Web by Evie White. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. That Was Then, This Is Now by S.C. Hinton. An Innocent in Russia, Barbara Cartland. The Secret of the Rosary by St. Louis de Montfort. I don't know. Ever Increasing Faith by Smith Wigglesworth. <laughs> Wigglesworth. Lily and the Lawman by Erica Veskula. Addicted to Nick by Bonin Jameson. Putting It to the Test by Lori Borelli. Wow, these look scandalous. I've never read these, by the way. Um, Conquering King's Heart by Maureen Child. The Bachelor Next Door by Katherine Springer. Uh, Silent Witness by Diane Burke. Baby It's Cold Outside by Jennifer Green. Learning Italian Phrasebook by John Muir Publications. The Shunning by Beverly Lewis. My Amish Childhood by Jerry S. Ierchi. Then I have all three of these ones by Kim Vogel Sawyer. So we have Katie's New World, Katie's Debate, and Katie's Decision. I'm missing the third book. Escape from Eden by Isla Snedder, not Narder, I don't know. Twelve Extraordinary Women by John McAuther. First Love by James Patterson. The Princess and the Opal Mask by Jenny Lundquist. After Party by Anne Regis Dampler. What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Then I have The Clockwork Princess, Prince and Angel by Cassandra Clare. Shelter by Harlan Coben. The Vast Fields of Ordinary by Nick Bird. The Best Night of Our Lives. Uh, the Best Night of Your Pathetic Life, Tara 
Alta Brando, experienced by Lucy Silla. I don't know. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Divergent by Veronica Roth, The Nightmark by Tiffany Resgula, Among the Imposters by Margaret Peterson Hadricks. Then we just have yet another Bible. Three by Ted Decker, Roses by Barbara Cohen, Cut Instinct by Barb Han, Virgin Bought and Paid For by Something Donald, His Virgin Mistress by Ann Mather, I can't really say this title because it's riped out, but Black Male Mistress, um, Wedding Night by Sarah Craven, um, a Trip with the Tycoon. <laughs> Macy Yates, uh, The Something Proposal. And The Secret Version by Carol Mortian. Then we have Cutting Through by Joan Hole. Take Her by Midnight Taylor. Sometimes God Face. Sometimes God Has a Kid's Face by Sister Mary Rose McGreedy, and yet another copy of that same book. Now, I said that was the last one, but I forgot that I have books over here, too. So we just have a thesaurus, and then we have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, Playing for Night uh, by Steve Alford, the almost always come home. They almost always come home by Cynthia Rucci. The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. A Million Sons by Beth Revis. Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. Zodiac by Ramina Russell. Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. I'll Give You the Sun by Jenny Nelson. Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Stig Larson. And Life Without Limbs by Nick Vesky. I don't. I hope you enjoyed that bookshelf tour. Let me know your thoughts on some of the books down below and have a wonderful day. Bye!